Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. It's Canada Day. No, nope. it's family day here. Try not to slip. It's a holiday, but Sam has to work this holiday, so he's going to work. The girls stayed up really late. I smell a skunk, you guys. That's not good, but it almost feels like spring. And this morning when I looked outside, when I woke up, there was a bunny in the yard. I've never seen a bunny in this, in this place ever. Like never seen a bunny here. And there was a bunny. And on top of all of that, it feels like spring, you guys. Like I don't even have gloves on. Which most of you guys, if you come from a warmer climate, would be freezing right now. But we're used to this and it feels good. Oh, can't get into the barn. I think Sam locks that door so that the wind can't blow it open because we've had some wind storms. So I think he locks that door and goes in the other door. So that's what I have to do. And it is icy. Ice everywhere, but it's all melting today. Let's go. Get in there. All right. <laughs> Penny always says hello. Hello, Penny Pickle. Oh, hi, princess. Well, you've been laying down. Oh, poop everywhere. Here. Look. Oh, don't spill it. Oh, that was your own fault. <laughs> Yes, that's a girl. <laughs> I yesterday bragged to everyone that we taught all of our horses to eat apples by taking bites. So I don't want you to ruin our reputation. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Here, I have more hair. Here. Hey, look, I have more apple. Look, I have more apple. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Anyway, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, I wanted to let the girls sleep in because it's family day. Ugh. Now my hands are cold. It's family day. I let them stay up late last night, which essentially, creates a situation where if I wake them up too early, they'll be grouchy, which I mean, yeah, you can do that, but who wants grouchy family on family day? Oh my goodness. I haven't been down to the barn in a few days. It is a mess. I heard birds. It is about four degrees above zero in the barn. And the arena is just an ice pit. You guys saw yesterday, Sam has been cutting up all the ice and that's what everybody's been having to do in wherever they live. There's just so much ice. It's not like super slippery ice now. Yeah, that's what happened. We had a flood. Lucky for us, it wasn't in our barn. Our barn hasn't flooded. So thank goodness for that. There's been no like damage or anything. It's just, just really bad weather that we've been having. And it's only gonna get worse because today everything is gonna be underwater again. And then like in a few days, it's gonna freeze up again. Can you guys see it? My first heart of the day. We've actually been kind of lucky in that this whole area has been, Sam brought the tractor in yesterday and dragged it, but it's been like not super bad. There's a little bit of ice on this side, but it's mostly like the wet slushy ice, not the super slippery ice. So we've been lucky for the girls. Although it hurts my heart a lot to see ice in our arena like it's where we always work and we've been able to work out there all winter but it is what it is all right are we ready to roll all right so i'm doing chores up on myself there was a time i wouldn't there was a time i wasn't brave there was a time i was scared but the time has ended you guys i'm not scared anymore like it's the weirdest thing like, i'm just not scared uh oh I did it wrong. Get, shoot, go, come on. Get, Gracie, you go first, go. Oh, good Lord, I did it wrong. And I'm still not scared, come on, come on, go. Oh, oh my gosh, every time I brag, come on, go, go, go. Why does somebody scared of me? Go, get outside, I did it wrong, I realized. It's because I had an apple 
and they don't understand <laughs> where their apple is. I saved your apple for later. Yes, it's icy. All right, you're out. <laughs> One out. Oh, where'd the other one go? Crazy, you're making me look bad again. Oh, every time you break, every time you think you're good. No, go. Oh, God always is there to show you that you're not and to be humble. Be humble. Be humble, Laura. Oh my gosh. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Gracie, look, I got treats. Come on. Willow's eating all the food, and we know that that doesn't need to happen. Gracie. Oh my God. Come on. Gracie, come on. Gracie, come on. Please come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right out. Right, yes, there's your pony. Go, go. So if you do it right, then <laughs> this doesn't happen. Penny Pick will be in so calm and so quiet, so she's such a good pony. Yeah, hold on, let me clean your face because I don't like my girl to go outside looking all dirty. She likes to sleep and sleep. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll do the other side now. Oh, goodness sake. Penny Pickle, really? <laughs> My goodness, she's shedding like crazy. All right, I'm gonna do the other side, yes. Good girl, yeah. All the dirt off of you, yes. All right, are you ready to roll? Look how much she's shedding. Today's a brushing day for sure. Today is family day. And in Canada here, things are like still a bit bonkers and you can't do much. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but hopefully it will involve family and horses. Nice and slow, princess. Come on, be running around down here. Look, even you have Okay, all right, I got them out. They're out, I did it. I'm the queen. I did it. So for any of you guys who are thinking like, Laura, you're spoiling your kids by doing their chores. I'm not doing their chores. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'll do my own chores and then they will come down when they're awake later in the day and take care of their own chores. And that works for us. Really, really Gracie? Was that really necessary? princess hi our girls are so different than our boys yeah so different than our boys yeah look at how wet you got did you roll huh clearly you did clearly you were rolling out there yep she was rolling rolling in the rain try to clean the arena and you're surrounded by ponies it's literally my favorite thing ever. Hey, get out of my pocket. It is my favorite thing. Okay, watch this, you guys. This just happened and I wasn't rolling. All right, so Penny just pooed in the arena. So I was clean enough to poop behind her. And behind her suspicious back feet. Yeah. Good girl, Penny. Good girl, yeah. She's like, well, you better reward me because I know, like even when you're not working on stuff, they're working on stuff. In the olden days, Penny would freak out if I took something by her back feet, like especially something noisy. She's, she's getting it, you guys. Like, I know it's not that big of a deal, but for her it is.
Shedding. Shedding. I just did a tiny bit on that side, but there's not much. On this side? I, yeah, barely any. No, you get that side then. No, uh, this is the side I did. Oh, okay. It is happening. It is happening. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Sophie's got it. Happening, you guys. It's happening. Holy. Holy heck, it is my favorite season of life. Every horse. I Look at that. Yeah, we have to start going early to the barn. Alright, so it's almost like it's spring, you guys. It's almost the beginning of spring. It's almost March. And the end of March is when spring happens. In but summer, I want to go lot on lots of walks with the dogs. February 21st. Yeah, one month till spring. Where we normally go on walks with the dogs. And I want to bring this. I have food and water in it for the dogs. Yeah. So what is your favorite shedding comb? I don't actually have a favorite one yet. I have this one and then there's another one. I don't know where it is. It is actually my favorite. But this one is pretty close. It's this kind that has like the rubber on one side. And then the blade on the other side. I love it. Look at this pony. It's just coming off. Isn't it so satisfying though? Man. You know it's shedding season when your horses are loving the brushing. So, here, take my shedding brush. Don't throw it. Here, I want to try. So, this is one thing I want to show you guys that Penny does. So, if I like cuddle into her and clean her, like, and I do something like some cleaning her udders right now, if it feels good to her, she lays on me, which doesn't seem like it is a good idea but it feels so good like she just leans into me and it's like the most nice pressure she she's not doing it now I like moved her so I could video it and now she's not doing it all right so we got the mini here the pony here everybody's getting shed your Can pony's you not, shed shedding? No, she's not shedding are you not shedding little pony you're not shedding oh it's awful isn't it it's awful. So he's going to give us a demonstration of this brush. So, this brush is very good. It's for dogs. Definitely not for dogs. Definitely not for horses. Um, Willow loves attention. So, if you're brushing your horse or your dog, she's not shedding very much. <laughs> Hello. She has a few hairs that are coming off. Alright, so what's the point of the brush? So, you see there's no hairs because Willow's not shedding. Yeah. But, then you push it like that, and then all the hairs go to the top, and then it's easier to pick off. Except for there's no hair. <laughs> yeah. Do it on Penny. Do the demonstration on Penny. Okay. Alright. Okay, so you see all the hairs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's still hair. And then it co goes to the top, and then you just pick it off. Oh, so it's... Yeah. You that... are so <laughs> so weird. I don't know. I just don't feel like that's an awesome brush. Hey, I paid $4 for this. You paid $4 for that brush? Yeah. Dad did? No. It feels so good to get brushed. Oh my gosh, look at that. And I brushed up here. Okay, so you see the hairs that are down? Yeah. And then, boom, they're at the top. Oh, interesting. Wow, who knew my fingers were better at Shedding than a brush. Oh God! Oh, hold on! Don't touch that. See all oh, the hair? It was always at the top. <laughs> yeah, I just point. think that's dumb. You guys know that we've been getting a lot of drama and a lot of hate because some people think that our pony is lame. Sophie's pony is lame. Well, for the most part, the kids haven't really been paying much attention to that, and um, it hasn't really entered their world until recently. So. Recently, uh, somebody commented on Sophie's. <laughs> somebody commented on Sophie's TikTok, and what did they say? Um, Finn is lame. Finn is lame. Are you upset by that, Sophie? No. How come you don't care about their opinion, Sophie? Because it's our pony, and we would know it's best for him. Yeah. Is he lame? No. He's not lame. Have we had the vet to check him? Yes. Yes. And so, who should you believe? Now people are sticking up for me because they say that um, 
that we got a vet check. Yeah. Anyways, the point is that all these kids have gone over to Sophie's channel saying all on her on her TikTok saying awful things to her, such awful things. And what's weird is that when we first started this channel, or no, when I first started homeschooling our girls, I was like, I told Sam, like, let's just do it. This is gonna be an experiment, experiment because I already raised three boys and they all went to school and I wanted to see if it would how much of a difference it would make to homeschool them my theory was that if they grew up with love and acceptance and kindness always that they would grow up and be strong and healthy emotionally and then they would go out into the world one day in the big world and they would and then the very first person that said something rude to them or something uncalled for or something like mean that my kids would say, wow, there is something wrong with you. Because in school, oftentimes we're taught that we have to be exactly like one another. And if we're not, it means we're different and different is bad. And I was hoping that my kids would learn that being themselves is absolutely okay. Here's another example. And Okay. So, um... <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything. Um, so all the hair is like at the back. Uh, you push it and it's all at the front. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sophie is dying for us to admit that her brush is cool. <laughs> but anyways, my point is that I've been homeschooling for what, four years now, Gabby? Five I years. Just, my kids have been home. I've just started. Five, um, six years. Is it six years? I've just started grade two before we left. Yeah. So two. Because I all the one. Five years. We've been homeschooling for five years now, and the time actually has come where Sophie has been exposed to uh, a lot of hate, a bunch of people saying things that aren't true and things that are hurtful to her. And I was, uh, and a lot of people messaged me and said, oh my gosh, Sophie is talking back to people on TikTok. She's answering people when they say mean things and hateful things. And it's hate if it's not true. It's hateful if it's not true. If you're judging somebody and basing something off something that's not true and you have no way to verify it, no way to tell if it's true, then it is hate. And people have been messaging me saying like, people are saying mean things to Sophie and Sophie is like, talking back, you have to go save her. And so I talked to Sophie and I said, Sophie, how are, how are you doing? And she said, yeah, it's so weird. People are saying Finn is lame. And I'm like, I know it's been a big thing going on for the last few days. Said, but are you okay? And she said, yeah, like she's handling it so well. She's handling it beautifully. And it made me really think that the time is here where Sophie for one is already able to see that when people gang up on you and say mean things and uh, try and bully you that it's clearly an issue with them. Our pony is not lame, and even if he was lame, it is nobody's job to bully anybody else about it. And he's not lame, though. <laughs> Anyways, it's nobody's business to say stuff to Sophie. And yeah, she's handling it beautifully, and I'm so proud of her, and can't believe that my theory was right. I believe my theory was right. I mean, you never know. It could be different. It could be different, but even though they hang out with friends and they have uh, groups that they belong to and people that they, they see, uh, they've never really come across like hate like this before, bullying, true bullying. They've never come across true bullying before. And I'm just so proud to see how she responded. Don't you know that you're